All right. Okay. And so, we're back. Yeah, now you've got all your stats figured out. Uh, you can go talk to this jolly fellow over here. <laughs> this guy is known as the Crestfallen Knight. He will spend the entire game here, and he is very depressing. Wow. Well, okay. what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? His job um, is to basically tell you that you don't no matter and that everything you're doing is pointless. You'd have done better to rot in the Do you kill him? Asylum. Well, you can. Well, I meant you. Have you ever done it? Uh, well, well, yeah. Since you're here, Does he have anything good? No. Oh. No, no. It's actually really useless to kill this guy. And it's one of those things, like, this is such a depressing game that, like, I actually like keeping him there because there's actually there's an event you can do later where he does leave. And um, I actually like keeping him there just because it's like, I want somebody here. <laughs> yeah. It's nice to have be all this alone. depressing dude. <laughs> Not much to go on, but I have a feeling that won't So yeah, your goal for ne this game's kind of three parts. The first part of the game is you have to ring two bells. The first is up above in an undead church, and then the second is below down in um this horrible like plague infested cave. Okay. Well. And see, you can pretty much go what any direction you want right now. There's. I really do have the freedom to just go. Yeah. But what I would say in relation to that is this game kind of uses meat uses like meat gates to prevent you from going places, which like <laughs> by meat gates do you mean super hard which, enemies? Yeah, okay. it means like if you go a certain direction, then the enemies will kill you if you go that way. Wow. All right, Woody. Well, lead. Um, I'll follow your lead, or do you want to just? Okay. Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to get you a few items. There, it's kind of a little secret area. So yeah, go through these doors here and uh, turn left. Man, turn left from here. Oh. Hey. So, yeah. Grab that. You got some fire bombs. Now that's an item. You now see if you do your D-pad down, that'll auto have automatically equipped. And you got your, and what that is, that's a thrown item that will like explode in a ball of fire. How do I throw? X. Um, X. Oh right, right, right. X to use your item. Don't waste them though. So go, yeah, go up here. Ooh. That's the, this is another tutorial message here. See if it's got the knight, that's tutorial. Okay. If it's got like a zombie face, that's player. And these are this is how you can because there's no voice chat in this game too. So when other people join your game, this is how you communicate with them. You got to do gestures. <laughs> Fun. Okay. Well, hello, NPC, sir NPC of Nottingham. <laughs> hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus. Yeah, this is a uh, Petrus here. He's like the um, beginning miracle if not, merchant. I'd prefer to keep. You can talk to him and buy possible. stuff that will let you like cast miracles and use miracles. Okay, well I'm not interested in those yeah. right now. So they're uh, honest. Miracles really aren't that good in this game. Like you can get healing miracles, but it's really better to just kindle up your bonfire more. Yeah. And get more Estus flasks. Okay, so this area to your right here, this is eventually a shortcut, but it's not open now. However, drop down. And all right, well, I'm trusting you. Dark, and all right. And then you come out here, and there's a bunch of chests. Hey, hey. Hello. What's behind chest number one? Okay, that's probably the best thing you're going to get out of all this stuff. Homeward bones, you can use those, and you will immediately return to the last bonfire you rested at. Oh. So they're good for navigation. So if you're really thick in the... Yeah. Thick in battle. And it can be useful, like... too, for, um, like, transportation, too. So if you, like, you can rest at a bonfire and say, like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to go out and grab this item in this really hard area that it is to get back from. Use that, and you'll snap back right to where you were. Cool. Throw the dog a bone. And also, I would say, you just got your first weapon, too. The battle axe. No, you, or your second weapon. Sorry. Huh? Your first, you found your first new weapon, hmm. which was the mace back there. Oh, okay. <laughs> and every weapon in this game functions differently. Oh, well. There's classes of weapons, and they generally have similar move sets, but they'll play differently. And see, like that, what the mace does is the mace guy has um does deals less damage. Right. So you can hit X here, and that'll give you like the full stats page. Oh. So you're dealing less. See, because there's here's your four damage types down there: right. the physical, magic, fire, and lightning. Different enemies weaker to different things. Generally speaking, physical damage is like ten times better than everything else. Because nothing's really resistant to physical damage, but a lot of stuff is resistant to magic, fire, lightning. Okay, so... And, uh, huh. 
I mean... See, here's the difference, though, is that... See the auxiliary... There's... See that little 300 down there? Auxiliary effect. That auxiliary yeah. effect. That's bleed. Bleed is if you attack an enemy, like, multiple times with that weapon, if you hit 100, which... It's like... So that has a um, buildup of 30 each time you hit. Then that means once you pass 100, then they take a ton of damage. And as, a, like, a thief-type character, you're going to be going for that type of damage. Because right. you attack really fast... And it's kind of like multiple one hits. Yeah. Right. If you attack like two, three times, if you, well, if you attack like three, four times, and you build up that damage, then they'll take. You know, you might only do twenty, thirty damage a hit, but then they'll take two hundred and fifty from your last attack. Mm. Now, see, the only way to, the only thing is though, your weapon's a little bit slower. I noticed that. It's a little that. bit slower, a little bit clumsier. But see, some weapons have a property where um, you kind of stumble if you miss, but if you hit, you'll just keep going like normal. Wow. Yeah, he's pretty ugly. Yeah. Also, if All you right. look like on your chest too, you have this giant like parasite thing growing on you. Oh, oh, down there. Yeah. Oh, right on your nipple. Lovely. I <laughs> just got it last week. So when I talked about meat gates, are the are those guys really? <laughs> those guys are gonna annihilate you. Okay. Like you can try fighting them, and actually fighting them with the mace is kind of doable. <laughs> but um, because they're skeletons, so it's like they're weak to blunt. If I run to a whoa, if I run to an NPC, whoa. if you run to a bonfire, and then rest at the bonfire, oh jeez, then they'll go back to their original positions. Or if you just run really far away, they'll leave too. <laughs> Surprised I made it out of there. All right. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna come get me. Actually, he just fell off a cliff and died. Did you see that plus 50 you got right no, there? No, I didn't. What? <laughs> yeah, that means he ran off a cliff and died. Now, would I have gotten more if I actually engaged in combat? No. If it's, oh. he, if he dies, he dies. And okay. He's gone. So I would have got that same 50 yeah. had I actually engaged. And I'm also going to give you some other... Actually, keep going the direction you're going. This is where I was going to tell you to go. Okay. We're going to go to an area that you are not going to visit again until, like, the very end of the game because it's incredibly difficult. <laughs> well, why am I going there now? Because if you run in and use a homeward bone, you can get a really good item. It's actually the item that lets you upgrade oh. your healing. Hold on a second. Re what does it mean, reinforce? That's what you... That means... That's upgrading your flasks. Oh. Is reinforce. So items. she... Ha that person has the ability to do yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. And that's why this bonfire is special. Because that's, it gives you the ten, and most only give five. Oh. See, that's the item you're going to go get. A firekeeper soul. Okay. Well, let's go get it. Um... Oh. Now, you might... I will say... You may die... <laughs> running for this, but it will be worth it. Uh, okay. You're only losing like 200 souls if you do, so. Okay. But see, you have those homeward bones, so you can run in and grab that item and use a homeward bone and really fast. Get out and you'll of be, there. Yeah, you'll get back. Okay. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, here, go ahead and hit start, too. Okay. Because one of the things, see, because yeah, you have to scroll through your items, you don't want to have too many equipped. Oh. Uh, because it makes scroller, so. Uh, go into your equip. Oh, okay. Equipment. Yeah, and see, you have your full list of stuff mm -hmm. up there. Generally speaking, the only thing I keep equipped, unless I want something right. specific, is um, my Estus Flasks, Homeward Bones, and Humanity. Okay. Now, for me right now, though, I, Humanity I would be... say not equip any. I would say just equip those three. It's Because it's you don't want to, like, reach for your Estus Flask and come up short. Okay. And, especially, and it's especially bad if you try to use something and, like, use some rare item accidentally. That's kind of the flaw of this game, is that it will occasionally, like, increase... Will occasionally equip like a powerful item to that slot that you didn't want to use. Mm. Or should I go ahead and unequip my humanity because I'm not using that? No, I would keep that. Okay. I want to do that, right? Yeah. This is your elevator deck. I'm just a little scared, Woody. Just a little scared. Yeah, you're heading into a uh, new Londo ruins. Londo. Oh, new Londo. Okay, gotta hit the switch. No, you don't. That's to, um, if you come from a different area, you uh, can use that to summon the elevator. Okay. If it's not there. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, so, just so you're prepared for a second, um, go ahead and run. for Run to just, like, see how your run speed works. And okay. so you see, and so you notice when you stop, like, how your your stamina regenerates. Yeah. You may need to use that in a moment. <laughs> okay. So it's like you may need to make so it's like you run a bit, rest a little bit, restore it, run a little bit, rest a little bit to restore it. And never kinda of like never letting it fully deplete. Okay. Now see, these guys aren't hostile, so you really don't need to kill them. 
Oh, just I mean, you can if you want, well, but they're it. barely worth anything. Okay. Nah, I got bigger fish to fry. 